Hi everybody, today we have come down to our local park run once again, but today we are here to talk about what to do when it's cold. We did a what to do when it's hot video in the summer, didn't we, yeah, Isabel? We did. Yeah, and we, we talked about drinking, wearing the right clothes, <laughs> and managing pace. Well, it's the exact opposite now. We are cold, it's minus two degrees, and there's lots of other things to think about. So we're going to go through and very quickly highlight the things that we're going to do. One, what to wear is, is generally considered layers. <laughs> you layers. Like wear thin layers, lots of layers. So as you actually start running, you can take off layer by layer. So you, normally it just means like taking off a jacket and you've still got something on underneath it. So like this one and this one. <laughs> it also means, what else do you have to wear, Isabel? What else do you have to wear that keeps your, say, your ears and your hands warm? What, what do you reckon? For the hands, you need gloves. Gloves. At the minute, look. <laughs> she hasn't put them on yet. And? For your ears, you need earmuffs. That's right. Um, so, yeah, I've got my hat on. Uh, and she, Isabel's got her earmuffs on. Uh, and that's, that's going to take care of our, uh, the bits that get cold the quickest. So the, the ears are thin and the fingers are tiny. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be uh, looking after that. What else do we need to do? What do we do before a park run? What do we need warm to up. Warm ups. So in a mo, we're going to go and do a little warm up all the way around this so that we're not stood around being cold. B skips. The weather outside is frightful. Delightful. Daddy doesn't know the words. What else are we going to do? What, what did we do when we come in the car just now? Stay in the we car. stay in the car for as long as possible. Uh, I'm staying in the car for a minute because it's really cold outside and I want to stay warm until it's time. Uh, even though we're doing this talky bit out in the cold, um, if we were just down here normally and it was cold, we'd stay in the car till about five minutes before, get out and do our warm-ups, wouldn't we? Yeah, you see? She's already getting a little bit cold because we've just stood around talking, silly daddy. Uh, and then maybe afterwards, what could we do? What could we do? Yeah, we can have like a hot chocolate, can't we? Get your hands around that. When we're running around in the cold, what do we have to be really careful of on the ground? Ice. Yeah, so choose the appropriate footwear. We've got our good shoes on and we've got uh, the actual path. Doesn't look too bad today, but if it gets a bit colder or a bit wetter, there could be black ice, which is ice that you can't normally see. So just keep your eye out for that. It's very easy to manage. Sometimes it, you have to run around it. And if you have to go through it, just be super careful. Slow right down and walk that bit. We generally wear layers like this, don't we, Isabel? Uh, and if we get too warm, we take them off, so we've got something underneath. Now this hoodie I'm wearing just to keep warm before we start. Isabel's wearing this. She's gonna keep hers on, and if she gets warm halfway around, because this is a lapped part run and we come past the start, she can just throw it on the side uh, and do that on the fly. So you don't have to make that decision at the start for if you don't want to. Uh, most part runs are, are lapped in some degree, aren't they, Isabel? Right. <laughs> Didn't know countdown today, Isabel. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> okay. You run on your own a minute. I'll be right here. So sometimes on cold days, the, the cold air can make you, you struggle a bit, and that's, that's with everyone. <laughs> uh, especially little lungs like Isabel's. In there, all right, that's okay. Uh, oh. So just a little bit of TLC goes a long way and promises 
of treats afterwards, I think. I think we need some, what do you think, what should we get afterwards, Isabel? Sweets? Definitely not slushes today, eh? No ice cream. No ice cream. <laughs> Again, Isabel. So, when you first start out running with kids, they can sometimes be a little bit, uh, a little bit emotional in in the, in the extremes of hot and cold. You can, you can. Uh, it's true. It's true. If you're a parent, and you've ever tried to get your kids to go out in the cold, you'll understand. Uh, but we're nearly at two miles now. She's all warmed up. She's got a friend. And there's now a massive smile on her face. We've only got, we've only got one mile left. How cool is that? And it's just amazing how they can go from be, thinking it's impossible well, to being that. to being nearly finished. <laughs> and it be no. Come on, girls. Let's catch Granny. Can we do that? Can we catch Granny? Keep going, girls, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, look, high fives, low fives. Oh, here we go. It's getting, it's getting serious now. Amazing how the game changes. Uh, she's got a uh, twin number two. I think that. Uh, uh, which one are you? You, Jess or Robin? Yeah, that's Robin there. <laughs> it's just that you, you look the same from behind <laughs> and the front. <laughs> Get away, girls. Don't let Granny get away. <laughs> no. Well done, girls. Keep it going. Oh. We've only got one more lap of this, and we're all done. Um. Amazing! Yeah, yeah, but we've nearly finished the first lap. We've almost finished the first lap. We've only got like one lap left. So, uh, <laughs> so should we go around again, girls? No, no. Why not? Because it's hard. It is hard. It is cold. <laughs> right, so we've just got half of King Lear to go, girls. That's it. And then we're finished. We get to go home into the wall. And we can check another one off and Isabel could be that much closer to our 50th. Let's just go over our tips again. One, stay in the car until the very last minute. Keep yourself warm. Two, do a little warm up right before you start so your blood's going. Three, dress appropriately. Layers, headgear, hand gear. Keep, keep, your, little, keep your little bits and bobs. Nice and warm. Conditions are correct. Uh, the Isabel sprint mode is about to occur. Okay. Stand by. Hi. Last couple of turns then. Right. Yeah. Okay, get ready to drop it, Mel. Just drop it like it's hot. Here we go. Hey. All right. 
Oh, and then a bell, tire bow. Both of you. After bell. Well done. well done, everyone. Well done. Right. So we have just finished a really cold park run, haven't we? Yeah. It, it was a bit tough at first because uh, when you very first start running, the cold air just has that effect on your body. Your lungs feel terrible. Your heart feels terrible. It just feels like you're dying in the beginning, don't it? But with a little bit of hand holding, we got you around the first mile, and then she f found a friend on the course, and it, sh uh, it really turned the frown upside down when you had a bit of company, didn't it? <laughs> what's, your, what's your friend's name? Jessica. Jessica, yeah. Jessica uh, uh, started part running a little while ago because she'd seen Isabel doing part runs, and now th they sort of do it together sometimes. How cool is that? <laughs> ah, Charlie! <laughs> he bowled me over. Careful! I can't bad, I can't bad back, stop! <laughs> okay, so, Isabel, so you had a good run? Yeah. Thank you for watching Isabel Sparkle. Remember to like and subscribe and watch my videos a lot. Thank you, peace out.